Hey you guys, it's Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries and today we are going to do a little journaling and gibbering I guess as you could say. I'm going to show you a process as well as tell you about um, the dedication of our mission Bible that to the Recovery Center last night. So I want to tell you how that went and hope you'll be encouraged as I was. Maybe you'll do the same thing in your area. And I'm claiming this verse over that Bible that I left in their hands last night is Isaiah 55:11, which says, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. I firmly believe the Lord sent that Bible. He may have used us as a mechanism for getting it there, but he sent that Bible to those folks and you would have thought we had given them a million dollars. The appreciation was beyond anything I um, could have imagined. But I wanna start with this, um, this page that we're gonna journal. Uh, just ahead of this verse, it talks about how the rain and the snow come from the heavens, bringing forth and sprouting and giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So it made me think of a garden and how we are sowing seeds by planting that Bible in that recovery center. So I want to do a floral scene. There is a fantastic artist on YouTube. Her name is Angela Anderson. She does so many techniques and that you can use in your Bible and they're easy peasy. Um, today we're gonna to be using mostly Q-tips and doing a floral scene and I wanna show you how it goes. We're gonna start out on this page doing some green for the vines and I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this I want you to be able to see this process let me see if I think you can see it yeah okay and I've got two colors of green I'm gonna use an old credit card and I'm gonna put that in the run that through that green okay okay so we're just doing vines basically down the page um, just some lines so we get some background color and that, that came out kind of thick and just kind of dab this around so it looks a little like leaves y'all the ladies um, at the center I can't explain to you there I think there were probably about 200 of them there and um, all walks of life some come from abusive situations, some come from the prison system, some come from um, an addiction situation. And um, anyway, they had a worship service and there I didn't anticipate what I would feel because there is something about entering into worship with people who coming from a place of pain more than likely are seeking God with their whole heart and I cannot even express to you the spirit in that room but those ladies were pouring it out to the Lord and man I wish that my worship was like that all the time but I got a chance to talk with them I'm gonna by the way I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in here my little cluster a lot of people do like to rubber band them together but then I'm gonna do um, like a long little watch so I got a chance to talk with them. I got a chance to tell them how um, a Christian community of Bible-journaling Bible women had um, come together and put that Bible together for them and that they needed to know that they were valued, that they are special, and that they are children of the Most High King. Right now I'm gonna do some um, circles, like some just some circles. Notice that there is nothing fancy about this. I think for this one, this is the one thing where I didn't do well with the the um, the Q-tips in doing these little asterisk flowers. So I'm just going to use a, a paintbrush and come in here and do asterisks. That's all there is to it. It's just some little asterisks. Okay, so I put those um, little lighter colored hash, little asterisks in there, and 
this now is going to be back to the Q-tip and I'm just going to make some little almost little triangles coming down. She went back and she took a little bit of the magenta and just dotted the top of these. So all my little asterisk flowers are getting the dot. Okay, now, remember the last video I did where I showed you how to make the little roses? I'll start with this. Still using a Q-tip, I'm gonna do a, this is gonna be, this flower's coming in from the side. Okay, let's go ahead and do uh, maybe another one up in this area, a smaller one. Okay, and then right in here, we'll do one more. Okay, now, remember how we did this? We just came in and did some swirls to make it rose-like. But I think, since we've got so much pink in this, I'm gonna infuse it with some orange as well. Give it a little brightness. Get some more colors added in here. Yeah, I like that. Look at my, look at my hands, y'all. This, this is why when I was growing up, they called me Test the Mess. Finish the words, his word will not return empty. This is a perfect illustration, I think, of the fact that when the Lord plants the seeds, that he will produce beautiful things from it. And so that's my prayer for the Bible and the Recovery Center, that um, beautiful things will come from those ladies getting into that word. And um, perhaps even learning to journal and spend more time in their own Bibles. So I thank you all for helping me with this project. Let me know, if you would, comment below. Let me know, for real, if you think we should do it again. It, it is a little bit of a chore to get the, not a chore, it's a challenge to get the word out um, and to get people to respond. But if you would actually send in a page for another Bible, for another recovery center, let me know below because I'd kind of like to know how many people would actually do that. Um, if you like this video and like to see some more, I hope that you'll hit like and subscribe if you want to follow us. So um, have a great week. Bye.